Am I audible now? Am I audible now? Is the audio, uh, can I be heard now guys? The visual I can see is good, but the audio, yes? Okay, that's great, amazing. All right, so welcome to the today's YouTube live session, everyone, where we are going to discuss muscle physiology MCQs. Now, why this? Because yesterday on the Unacademy app, we had discussed the topic of muscle physiology. I tried and simplified the topic of muscle physiology, the skeletal muscle contraction, and your muscle spindle, the Golgi tendon organ, and all of that. So we had decided that let's reinforce this, let's consolidate this by having a look at all the previously asked questions, right? So that's the reason that we are doing here. For those who missed the special class that we had yesterday, in the description of this video, you will find the link Muscle Physiology Simplified. Please watch that session. If you do not understand any concept here, because this is the review of the concepts which we have already learned. Okay, so everyone, please watch that uh, session once on the Unacademy app, right? Now, just give me a moment. All right. So I hope all of you know about the plus subscription where you have access to uh, unlimited courses, right? You have, just give me a moment, guys. So when you have uh, uh, access to the unlimited courses on the platform, it's not only one educator, but all the educators, you have iconic subscription, which is a combination of your, uh, which is the combination of your unacademy and prep ladder. And we have your uh, limited time offer on the iconic subscription. Okay, so we have this limited time offer where the prices have slashed. Plus, we have the 3 plus 1 offer and the 12 months plus 2 months extra subscription which you get. Now, please make a note of the new batches which we are going to start on the platform from 2nd of June. It's going to start from 2nd of June for all the students. Need PG students, FMG, MCQ Marathon will also start on 2nd of June. And so is the batch for your next, the next 2022 students. And also the I9CT MCQ Marathon. Most important, your last minute rescue. If you are confused what to read for I9CT, this is the batch that you can take resort to. Right? Now, uh, whenever you are subscribing to the Unacademy platform, you are watching the previous free sessions, all the live sessions. You can use the code that is your Dr. Nikita Live. Okay, you can use the code. Dr. Nikita Live while joining the free sessions or while you are subscribing for additional discount, right? So let us start with the first question. I, I can see that we are not able to see the question properly. Let me just adjust this. Okay. Guys, uh, give me a moment. I'll just address this. Give me a All right. So this is the first question here. Okay. This is the first question here. I hope now you are able to see the question. Which of the following decreases in length during the contraction of a skeletal muscle fiber? Which of the following decreases in length during the contraction of a skeletal muscle fiber? I can see Karthika getting it right the first. So we had discussed this topic yesterday. When your skeletal muscle contracts, what is the two things that decreases? We say bye bye. Okay, we say bye to whom? We say bye to high. Okay, so we say bye to high. So remember, you have two things which decrease. The I band decreases and the H band disappears. Okay, the H band disappears and the I band decreases. So remember, by two high. That is what the mnemonic we had seen. Which is that one which remains constant? What remains constant during the contraction?
कौन कौन सा ऐसे ही रहेगा अगेन द अदर मेमोरी दैट वी हैव सीन द वन व्हिच विल रिमेन रिमेन ऐसे ही मतलब प्री में थी के जैसे दैट इज योर ए बैंड ओके द ए बैंड रिमेंस कांस्टेंट सो नाउ लुक एट द ऑप्शन व्हाट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिक्रीजेस इन लेंथ व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिक्रीजेस ए बैंड ऐसे ही रहेगा राइट द ए बैंड रिमेंस द सेम आई बैंड डिक्रीजेस ओके व्हाट डिक्रीजेस I band decreases, so that is the answer. Thick filament is your myosin filament. That does not change. The Z disc of the sarcomere does not decrease. It is the length of the sarcomere, that is the distance between the two Z lines, which decreases. It is not your Z line itself which is decreasing. It is the length between the two Z lines which is decreasing. Okay, so the answer here is your. I band. Okay, the answer is I band. Next one, the site where myosin heads bind to actin in skeletal muscles are covered by tropomyosin, troponin, calcium, or none of the above. The site where myosin heads bind to actin in skeletal muscles are covered by. Absolutely, guys. That is your tropomyosin. Uh, remember uh, that image that we had seen yesterday for all those who had attended the session yesterday. So you had again the actin. Tha. If this was the actin, so we have the tropomyosin. Pura apka tropomyosin, jo cover karta hai actin ko. Tropomyosin ke saath bound hota hai troponin, right? So you have troponin. You have troponin T, you have troponin I, and you have troponin C, right? So the mnemonic to remember was troponin and the tropomyosin sit on the top of actin. What sits on the top of actin? Top is your tropomyosin and the troponin C. What covers the binding head, the active head of actin, which binds to myosin? That is your tropomyosin. तो ये ट्रोपोमायोसिन मायोसिन से बाइंड नहीं करने देता है एक्टिन को ओके व्हेन डज द बाइंडिंग ऑफ ट्रोपोमायोसिन टू द एक्टिव हेड गोस ऑफ व्हेन इज दैट एक्टिव हेड ऑफ एक्टिन अनकवर्ड व्हाट इज दैट रिएक्शन व्हिच इज इंपॉर्टेंट व्हाट अनकवर्स द एक्टिव हेड्स ऑन एक्टिन व्हिच बाइंड्स टू मायोसिन Is it uh, ADP? ADP तो आपका बाद में आएगा. What uncovers the actin का head which binds to your, which binds to myosin? Basically, when does this tropomyosin uncover the actin का binding site? When your calcium, okay, when your calcium comes and binds to your troponin C. Most important, calcium आएगा. It will bind to troponin C. That will displace the tropomyosin laterally, and that will uncover the uh, activity. Okay, the actin head. So that is your calcium coming and interacting with troponin C. Next one, thin filament consists of all of the following except thin filament consists of all except actin, troponin, myosin, tropomyosin. An easy one. So please read the question carefully. It is except. Okay, it is except. Thin filament. Is का भी निमोने कम ने देखा था. Actin. When you write actin, okay, so write it as actin. That means actin वाला is your thin filament. Actin के ऊपर, on top of actin, we have your tropomyosin and troponin. So actin है, troponin है. Tropomyosin head, the myosin is not the component of your thin filament. Myosin, this is also we have seen, is it a dimer, trimer, tetramer, pentamer, hexamer? What is your myosin? Yes. 
Yes, waiting for the answers. Myosin, is it your dimer, trimer, tetramer, pentamer, or a hexamer? What is myosin? Absolutely right. So you now know that myosin is a hexamer. Okay, myosin is a hexamer. Next one, skeletal muscle contraction and when? When does the skeletal muscle contraction end? Is it when the ions move out of the cytoplasm? Acetylcholine is absorbed from the NM junction. Is it the closure and indrawing of the receptors? Or is it decrease the calcium outside the reticulum? Absolutely right. That's amazing. The correct answer is your decrease the calcium outside the reticulum. So we said that the reaction which is required to uncover actin per binding site is calcium binding to troponin C that uncovering the tropomyosin. Tropomyosin ko lateral base de sir. Right? So until the time your calcium is bound to troponin C, tropomyosin will allow actin to bind to myosin. Right? Once your calcium goes out, out in the sense the calcium decreases. From where is the calcium coming? From where is the calcium coming into your sarcoplasma? It is coming from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, right? It is coming from sarcoplasmic reticulum. This sarcoplasmic reticulum, we said, what does this form? Is it the L tubule or is it the T tubule? Is it the L tubule or is it the T tubule? What does it form? Ha, so, right, you remember the mnemonic? That was your. SRL, right? We have seen the another mnemonic SRL labs. That is your sarcoplasmic reticulum has what receptors? It has your rhinodine receptors and it is the longitudinal tubule, right? It is the longitudinal tubule. So you have the rhinodine receptors, terminal system may say, so calcium bahar aata hai. This calcium binds to troponin C. Right, and then the contraction is starting. When this calcium is taken back to the reticulum, what takes the calcium back? That is your sarcopum. Right, that is your sarcopum which takes the calcium back. So, if we get tropomyosin, actin will not bind to myosin. So, when does the skeletal muscle contraction end? Is when you have decreased the calcium outside. Outside the reticulum. In the reticulum, calcium increases going back. Outside the reticulum, the calcium is decreasing. All right. Next one, let us go to the next question. Myosin filament has a fixed length of. Myosin filament has a fixed length of. So, this is something that we did not discuss a factual question here, but the answer to this absolutely right. That is your 1.6 micrometer. 1.6 micron, that is what is the answer. So, myosin has a fixed length of 1.6. Sarcomere ka length kitna hota hai? It is 2 to 2.2 micron. Okay, it is 2 to 2.2 micron. Next one. When the tension in a muscle fiber is maximum, what is that length called as? When the tension in the muscle fiber is maximum, the length is called as? Absolutely right. That is your optimum length. Right. That is your optimum length. What was that tension wala graph which goes like this? Bell shaped this graph. This is the length of the sarcomere and this is the tension developing in the muscle. Is this total tension? Is this passive tension or is this active tension? Absolutely right. That one, this is your active tension. Active tension due to the contraction. So your active tension, it goes on increasing the length of the it points out the way where it is maximum and then it decreases. Then it decreases. 
So this length, when you get maximum active tension, that is called as your optimum length. Why do we get maximum at that point itself? Because actin or myosin ka jo binding hai, that is maximum. The cross bridge cycle, that is maximum. Okay, that is your optimum length. So that's the optimum length. Let us go to the next portion during skeletal muscle contraction. So, a uh, repeated question on the topic what happens during skeletal muscle contraction? So, this is where your mnemonic will come to rescue. Absolutely right. That is your H and I band shortened. Mnemonic is hypobolo by by. That means they are decreasing, they are going away. So, your H band and the I band are decreasing, they shorten. Where is the H band present? When is the H band present? Is it light or dark? And it is present in the center of which band? What was our mnemonic to remember that? Where is the H band present? Yes, H band is present in the center of the A band. Right? It is present in the center of A band. And H band itself is dark or is it light? So, what was a mnemonic to remember that? What was a mnemonic to remember that? It was your ma z, right? It was your ma z. Divide it here, divide it here, ulta paro. A ke center me h, h ke center me m, i ke center me z, right? I ke center me z. You have a band, you have i band, right? You have a band and you have i band. A band is the dark band i band is the light band right light has i in it i band is the light band light band ke center me z line is the dark line dark color a band ke center me we have the light h band light h band ke center me we have a dark m line right we have a dark m line so this is how it goes this is how you remember the structure of the sarcomere. Okay. So it is your H band and the I band which shorten. And what becomes prominent? It is the M line which becomes prominent. Okay. It is the M line which becomes prominent. Right. Okay. Next one. Tetanic contraction is due to accumulation of. Titanic contraction is due to accumulation of. Again, a question conceptual, it is due to accumulation of calcium. Jump the calcium accumulated rahega, it is not going back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Calcium is bound to troponin C. Tropomyosin goes away. Actin is free to bind to myosin. So, that is your answer. Calcium ki wajah se titanic contraction hoga. Right? Next one. Okay. So, the new topic that we would be discussing in the today's session is your type 1 fibers and the type 2 fibers. What are your type 1 muscle fibers and what are your type 2 muscle fibers? What do you think is the answer to this? Type 1 muscle fibers are red, anaerobic, large or glycolytic. Let us see the next table. Uske baad hum aate hai in pe. Okay. Let us see this one. Phir wo question solve karte hai. Okay. So this is the table from your reference book. That is Gernoff. Let us try to decode this. So we have type 1 fibers. Type 2 mein, 2 mein do types hai, 2A or 2B. Thikha? Now type 1 fibers are slow oxidative. Okay, they are slow oxidative. Type 2A is fast oxidative glycolytic. It is fog. While your type 2B is fast glycolytic, it is not oxidative. Okay, it is not oxidative. So remember 1, 2A, 2B. It is so fog fg okay so fog fg 
slow oxidative, fast oxidative glycolytic, and it is fast glycolytic. Now, since this is oxidative, this is oxidative. Okay, the oxidative wale hai, unka color hai red. Okay, the oxidative wale hai, unka color hai red. Or type 2B are white in color because it's not oxidative. Now, the one which is, now look at the myosin ATPase activity. What was the role of myosin ATPase? The myosin head, jab uske saath ATP bind karta hai, it breaks down the ATP into ADP and PI. In that state, myosin binds to actin or it detaches from actin. It binds or it detaches. So when your ADP and PI are bound to myosin, does it bind to actin or it detaches? What happens? So remember that it is the time when it is binding. It is the time when it is binding. ATP, ATP is required for detachment. Okay, ATP is required for relaxation. That is why you can remember by rigor mortis. When the person dies, there is no ATP. That is why no relaxation happening. That is why actin bound to myosin. And that is why rigor mortis after death. So remember, it binds. The myosin binds to actin when there is ADP. So this myosin ATP is decides कि कौन सा स्लो है कौन सा फास्ट है जिसका एटीपीएस एक्टिविटी ज्यादा वो फास्ट होगा तो फास्ट वाले में ऑफ कोर्स इट इज द फास्ट वन सेकंड वाला आप फास्ट टाइप 1 इज स्लो कैल्शियम पंपिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम फ्रॉम द सार्कोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम योर कैल्शियम कम्स आउट इनिशिएट्स द कॉन्ट्रैक्शन सो अगेन द फास्ट वन दे हैव द हाई कैल्शियम पंपिंग कैपेसिटी Diameter which is small, which is your large, slow wala is small, slow wala small, jitana bada, utana wo zada fast at karega. So type 2 are large. Glycolytic capacity, it is your fog and SG. Glycolytic is high in type 2. Oxidative capacity is ultra. Oxidative capacity is high. In your slow, it is your so, so it is slow oxidative, it is not glycolytic, so it has maximum oxidative capacity. The associated motor unit type, type 1 wala is slow, type 2 is fast, 2A and 2B. Type 2 wala is fast and resistant to fatigue, and type 2B wala is fast fatigable. Okay, it is fast fatigable. So, the oxidative or glycolytic dono hai, that is resistant to fatigue and this one is fatigable. So, easy to remember, just remember so, fog and SG. Everything will be decoded from there. So, matlab type 1 wala slow hai, oxidative hai. Oxidative matlab wo red rahega, it will be red. Slow matlab because the diameter is small, myosin ATPase activity is slow and the Pumping activity of sarcoplasmic reticulum is slow. That is why it is all slow. Oxidative capacity will be maximum in your type 1. Okay, it will be maximum in type 1. This type 2A is fast, resistant to fatigue. This is fast but fatigable. Now, let us go back to the question here. Type 1 muscle fibers are red, anaerobic, large or glycolytic. So, type 1 we know is slow and oxidative. It is slow and oxidative. Oxidative means it is red in color. Oxidative means it is not anaerobic. It is slow means it is small in diameter. It is oxidative only. It is not glycolytic. So, the answer becomes your option A. Right? The answer becomes A. Let us see other question on this topic. True about type muscle fibers. Which of the following is true about type 2 muscle fibers? Absolutely. So we said so fog and FG. So fog and FG they are glycolytic. 
type 2 are not slow, type 2 are fast. High mitochondrial content is in your oxidative wala, which is type 1. And they are not useful for intense moments of short duration. They are useful. They are fast acting. They are fast responding. They are useful. So type 2 are glycolytic. Okay, type 2 are glycolytic. We will get many more questions. We have an interesting graph based question also on this topic. We will see as the session proceeds. Right. Next one. Most distinguishable feature between the skeletal muscle and the smooth muscle is troponin, tropomyosin, myosin or actin. Which is the most distinguishable feature between skeletal muscle and the smooth muscle? Absolutely right. It is troponin which is not present in your smooth muscle. Kal smooth muscle nahi, sirf skeletal muscle dekha hai. Instead of troponin, the smooth muscle, what does it have? It has calmodulin. Okay, it has calmodulin. It does not have troponin. So, remember the smooth muscle has calmodulin. It is calmodulin. Now, troponin is not present. Next one. In muscle contraction, all are true except, again, these are all the previously asked questions. This gives you an idea that this topic is so important. Hai. Bar -bar So, I think you have multiple options correct here, is it? Or is it one option correct? Okay. Absolutely, the question is all of the following are true except which of the following is not true. So, A band remains unchanged. Yes, A remains SAV. H zone disappears. Yes, high disappears. I band, H and I, they shorten. I band does not become wide. Two Z lines come closer. Yes, the sarcomere length decreases. So, the answer is your C. The I band becomes short. Okay, the I band becomes short. Next question. Which of the following triggers the muscle contraction? Which is the first step which triggers the muscle contraction? What answers do I see here? Yes. The first one that triggers the contraction, that is uncovering the actin, that is triggered by your calcium binding troponin C. Remember C, calcium binds with troponin C. Calcium does not bind to tropomyosin. Calcium does not bind to troponin I. It is your calcium binding troponin C which uncovers, then your actin becomes free. And then the reaction starts. Alright. Next question. No options here. Let us see who gets it right the first. Twitch of a single motor unit is called as. What is the twitch of a single motor unit called as? Very correct. So, Raja Anadurai has got it right the first. So, that is your fasciculation. Twitch of a single motor unit is called as fasciculation. Okay, it is called fasciculation. If we change the question, twitch of a single muscle fiber, of a single muscle fiber, that is called as, remember, fiber ka fibrillation. Okay, fiber ka hai. Fibrillation, motor unit, multiple fibril set, usko bolte hai, fascicle. It is fascicle ka twitch, so it is fasciculation. So, fibrillation, single fiber ka, fasciculation, motor unit ka. Okay, it is a motor unit. Next one. Okay, so an interesting question. The force of muscle contraction can be increased by all of the following except. What do you think is the answer to this? Absolutely right. That is your option C. 
Now remember that the muscle contraction force, it can be increased by increasing the frequency of the motor unit. So there you will get summation. Summation ho jayega. Ek kiya, motor unit activate, dusra kiya, tisra kiya, but repeatedly kiya, once, twice, right? That will not allow the calcium to go inside. So aapka force of muscle contraction bad jayega. Increasing the number of motor units. Yes, the more the number of motor units you recruit, the uh, stronger is the contraction. Recruiting larger motor units, size principle, jitana bada motor unit, utana contraction zada, size principle we have there. What is not correct is increasing the amplitude of action potential in the motor neuron. Now remember that the action potential has your, action potential is your all or none phenomenon. Okay, it's me koi grading nahi hota hai. Karega to maximum karega, nahi karega to bilkul nahi karega. And I think that is how we should be also. Whenever you do, whatever you do, do it 100% with full dedication or don't do it at all. That is why I tell you all or none. Karna hai to pure jor se karna hai, nahi to nahi karna hai. Don't hang in between. So we should be like action potential all or none. So action potential ka strength bada ke kuch nahi hone wala hai. Muscle contraction utna hi rahega. So the answer is your C. Increasing the amplitude of action potential will not change. Alright. Next one. Okay. So the question on your feature or features. Multiple options correct. Of slow twitching muscles is or are. This is your PGI car portion. Okay. This is your PGI car portion. Features of slow twitching muscle is Okay, so I see mixed answers here. Remember, it can be multiple options correct. What is the answer to this? Number one, slow twitching muscle. Slow twitching muscle. Red hai ki white hota hai. Slow twitching muscle. It is red or it is white. It is red in color. Myoglobin quantity is more. Composed of smaller fibers. Slow matlab chota fiber. It is small. Contains large amount of glycolytic? No, it is so. That is oxidative. It is not glycolytic. It is not white in color. It has high ATPase activity. It has high ATPase activity. The ATPase activity is less. Thode thoda hota hai. Isi liye slow contraction hota hai. ATPase activity is high in your in your fast fibers okay it is in your fast fibers so even this is not correct so these are these are correct all right next one there is a mutation of gene encoding for rhinodine receptors in malignant hyperthermia which of the following statements best explains the heat production in your malignant hyperthermia so this is your previous aims question this is your previous aims question what explains the increased heat production in malignant hyperthermia? What do you think is the answer to this? Absolutely right. It is your increased muscle metabolism by excess of calcium. Now, rhinodine receptor. Where is your rhinodine receptor present? Where is the rhinodine receptor present? On your L tubule sarcoplasmic reticulum, yaha pe hota hai aapka rhinodine receptor. With what does this rhinodine receptor uh, uh, interact? Iske saad interaction hota hai? Ye jo aapka T tubule hai, uske DHP receptor se. What activates the DHP receptor? The action potential. So when the DHP is activated, your rhinodine receptor activated, Calcium comes out and that is how the contraction starts. So when there is a mutation in the rhinodine receptor, it does not sense that calcium bahar chale gaya. 
which keeps on sending the calcium outside the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So we get increased the calcium. So we get increased the contraction. Muscle contraction badega, heat production badega, and that is why we get fever. Okay, fever, hyperthermia, malignant hyperthermia, right? That is malignant hyperthermia. So that's the reason we get hyperthermia. All right. Next question: Which of the following acts to increase the release of calcium from endoplasmic reticulum? Which of the following acts to increase the release of calcium from endoplasmic reticulum? Second messengers, हमने पढ़ा है calcium कब बढ़ता है? Yes. The answer is inositol triphosphate. Why is the answer not diacylglycerol? IP3 DAG वाला बोलते हैं हम. It increases your calcium. IP3 DAG. What type of G protein couple receptor it is? It is your GQ type, right? It is your GQ type. It is your GQ type. So why is it not diacylglycerol? Why is it IP3? Because it is the IP3 which acts to increase the calcium. Diacylglycerol it activates your protein kinase C. Okay, it activates your प्रोटीन काइनेसी तो IP3 कैल्शियम बढ़ाता है और आपका डाइएसिलग्लिसरॉल प्रोटीन काइनेस C को एक्टिवेट करता है ठीक है सो द आंसर इज आइनोसिटोल ट्राइफॉस्फेट आइनोसिटोल ट्राइफॉस्फेट राइट सो इन द टुडे सेशन वी आल्सो लर्न ऑटोनोमिक नर्वस सिस्टम फार्माकोलॉजी अल्फा 1 अल्फा 2 एंड द बीटा रिसेप्टर्स टू व्हिच जी प्रोटीन कपल रिसेप्टर्स आर दे एक्टिव अल्फा वन अल्फा टू एंड बीटा उसका निमोनिक देखा था अल्फा वन अल्फा टू एंड बीटा सो द निमोनिक वाज किस इज द निमोनिक राइट सो इट इज योर जी क्यू टाइप इट इज योर जी आई टाइप इट इज योर जी एस टाइप जी क्यू आई बी थ्री डी ए जी कैल्शियम जी आई इनिबिट्री डिक्रीज इज द साइक्लिक ए एम पी जी एस Stimulatory increases the cyclic AMP, right? It increases the cyclic AMP. Okay. Next one. Okay. So an interesting question here. A physiology experiment is conducted in which a motor neuron that normally innervates a predominantly fast type two muscle is enacted most to a predominantly slow type muscle. Which of the following is most likely to decrease in the type one muscle after the surgery? Which of the following is most likely to decrease? Very very interesting question. Do I see the answers here? Very good. All of you. That means I've got this concept right. That is amazing. So what are we doing here? हम यहाँ पे एक सर्जरी कर रहे हैं टाइप टू वाले का मोटर न्यूरॉन हम टाइप वन को कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं टाइप टू के मोटर न्यूरॉन को टाइप वन में कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं मसल बेचारे आर वेरी प्लास्टिक यू नो दे आर वेरी अडेप्टेड जो आप उनको न्यूरॉन दे दोगे उसके हिसाब से दे विल एक्ट एज वेल सो वेन यू डू दिस फास्ट इनोवेशन टाइप टू यानी फास्ट वाले का आप स्लो में इनोवेट कर रहे हो सो द स्लो फाइबर Will basically become your fast fiber now. Okay, the slow fiber will become your fast fiber. Fast fiber में क्या क्या होता है? That is what the question. So which of the following is most likely to decrease? Which of the following is most likely to decrease? Fiber diameter. When does the muscle contract fast? When the fiber diameter increases, right? Glycolytic activity. Your type two. Fast वाले are FOG and FG. That means they are glycolytic, right? They are glycolytic. Maximum contraction velocity. Fast वाले will have increased velocity. इसीलिए वो fast है. उनकी contraction velocity ज़्यादा है, right? Mitochondrial content is the one which decreases because it is your type one fibers which are predominantly oxidative. Type two fibers are your glycolytic, so the mitochondrial content decreases. 
Myosin ATPase activity increases jitna zyada myosin ATPase activity utna fast contraction. So all of these will increase except your mitochondrial content. Okay, that's your mitochondrial content. So let's go to the next question. Now you have few graph based questions. The figure below illustrates the isometric length tension relationship in a representative intact skeletal muscle. Match the description. You have three descriptions to match your. All right, you have three descriptions to match your. Number one, this is the second description and this is the third description. Match with the alphabets. So called active or contraction dependent tension is demonstrated by which of the following? Question hai ki active wala konsa hai? Do not tell me the total and the passive. Tell me which one is the active out of these. Which is the active? Which is the active one out of these? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Is it D? Is it E? Is it F? These are the alphabets that you can see here. So I see one Nishu has got it right. Absolutely right. So I can see Nishu getting it right. Now look at this curve. Is my sir bookly kya ho kya? Ki rather than giving the active contraction like this, active contraction ka graph di hai. We all know that this graph which you see here, this is the total tension. This one which goes on increasing as the muscle length is increasing, the tension which goes on increasing, that is your passive tension, right? That is the passive tension. So what is your total tension? It is active plus passive tension. So what is the active tension? It is total minus passive. So here the difference is in between the graph of the total and the passive tension. That basically is your active tension. Okay, the difference between the total and passive is your active tension. So the answer is B. Second one, what is the muscle length at which the active tension is maximum? What is the muscle length at which the active tension will be maximum? So extremes of anything is bad for the muscle. Extremes of anything is bad. It is your center one, the length E, where you get the maximum tension. Okay, so the answer is E. Second one, the contribution of non-contractile muscle elements to the total tension. Which of these represents the contribution of non-contractile muscle elements to the total tension? So the non-contractile muscle elements, that is your ligaments, your tendons, they represent your passive tension. So C1 is your passive tension. Okay, it is your C which is representing the non-contractile. So non-contractile wale hai, wo passive tension hai. That is D. Okay, the answer D hai. That is your C. Okay, the answer is C here. Alright. Next one. Another important graph based question here. Please read the question and let us see. The figure illustrates the single isometric which characteristic of two skeletal muscles A and B. Which of the following best describes muscle B compared with muscle A? Which of the following best describes your muscle B compared with muscle A? So this is your, again, very, very concept based. This is an example on how even if you have read the theory, you can get questions in any form. You can get graph based questions as well. Abhi, now I can see here a lot of mixed answers. Many of you have got this right as well. Now remember guys, as a question I have, ki kya answer hai. Just look at the options. Graph bhi mat dekho, kuch mat dekho. Look at the options. Look at that one option which is contradicting the rest of the options. Okay? 
So you have that one property which is belonging to B, the rest is belonging to A. Let us have a look at the option. Now the first option is adapted for rapid contraction. Adapted for rapid contraction is going to be fast or slow muscle fiber. Rapid contraction, of course, it means that it is going to be your fast muscle fiber, right? Composed of larger muscle fibers, will it be fast or will it be slow? Jitana zada muscle fiber bada, utana fast. So again, this is for fast, okay? This is for fast. Pure mitochondria. Pure mitochondria, is it slow or is it fast? Fewer mitochondria. Mitochondria come, is it your fast or is it your slow? Remember, mitochondria come, matlab glycolysis wala zada, jo without mitochondria bhi hoga. Glycolytic kaun sa da amara? Fog and FG. That means it is your fast muscle fiber. Innervated by smaller nerve fibers. Jitana small nerve fibers, utana slow contraction. So this is your slow one. So even if I don't have a look at the option E, three options would have samaj me aage ki fast ke liye hai. And I know that this one is slow. So automatically the answer becomes D. Okay, automatically the answer becomes D. I don't even need to look at your option E. Because I have to know that the other options are fast and the other options are slow. Hai. Hai? These are the tricks you know, which help you score more. If you don't know the topic, you just look at options. Dekh lo. This cheat code I call as odd man out. Put all the options in one direction. That one answer wala option in the opposite direction. Automatically. Woi answer rene wala hai. That is what the answer is going to be. Less extensive blood supply. Less extensive blood supply. Is it your fast or is it your slow? Blood supply kam. Matlab wo red nahi hai. Red nahi hai. Yane samjho wo white wala hai. That is your fast muscle fiber. Okay, that is your fast muscle fiber. Now look at the graph now. What is the muscle A and what is the muscle B? After this depolarization, this is representing your depolarization. You have this muscle A contracting, you have the muscle B contracting. Which one is the faster contracting? The muscle A is the fast muscle, the muscle B is the slow muscle, right? B wala baat mein contract wala. So basically they are asking you ki konsa wala fast hai aur konsa wala slow hai, theek hai? Now, based on this, you have one more portion. This is one more portion on the same graph. The delay between the termination of the transient depolarization and the onset of muscle contraction observed in both the muscles. Ye jo delay dikh raha hai yaha pe, ki depolarization khatam hua, uske delay ke baad, phir contraction shuru ho raha hai. It reflects the time necessary for which of the following. It reflects the time necessary for which of the following. So that means which is that first event which is that first event which is happening in the muscle to start to initiate the contraction. Wo humne dekha calcium wala. So basically it is the time required for calcium to accumulate in the sarcoplasm. Aapka action potential aya, DHP receptor, rhino D receptor, phir calcium bar aya, phir contraction start hoga. So that delay represents the calcium to accumulate in the sarcoplasm. It is calcium to accumulate in the sarcoplasm. It is not E. It is not myosin to form one cross bridge. It is your calcium to accumulate. Okay, this is the calcium to accumulate. So the answer here is E. Okay, the answer here is E. All right. So yes, guys, uh, that was about the today's session. Okay, on the muscle physiology, the MCQ skeletal muscle contraction is what we wanted to do. For those who have missed the session, 
the link is in the description of this video of the special class that we had yesterday pal lena muscle physiology very very important even your muscle spindle and golgi tendon is what we had done right and the what is the plan for tomorrow tomorrow according to the revision time table for iitg that we are following on the telegram group we have pathology in our daily target so kal apko pathology complete karna hai so tomorrow 5 pm we will have a class on pathology where we will be looking at either your neoplasia ka tables ya aapke all the different bodies in pathology kaun sa body kahan dikhta hai mnemonics to remember that right and then 10 pm we will also have the youtube session on the same channel so wahan pe we are going to discuss part 4 of ans pharmacology please revise the first three parts of ans pharmacology that we have done so far in the last 2 to 3 days ans pharmacology ke teen sessions kiye hain part 1 part 2 and part 3 okay part 1 is the beta blockers that you will find on the same youtube channel part 2 was about your general part of ans and the cholinergic flux it is on the anacademy app the free class that we had and today we had part 3 where we discussed the tricks to remember the adrenergic flux so tomorrow will be the last part hopefully where we will discuss your remaining part that is anti cholinergic and a part of alpha blockers right anti cholinergic will be the main topic of discussion so please revise these three sessions before you come for the fourth session so that nothing goes as a bouncer you understand whatever we are discussing all right so that's the plan for uh, tomorrow okay and uh, thank you so much neoplasia ke tables is what majority of you are asking for let me see if we can do that okay and uh, that was for today's session goodbye guys thank you for joining in i hope the topic of muscle physiology is now clear we have discussed all the mcqs related to that topic skeletal muscle contraction all right so kal milte hain with sessions in pathology till then goodbye take care good night keep studying keep revising and keep reading thank you so much